Hey besties, so this is my completed chip bag in Canva. I wanted to go through a few things with you guys so you understand what I did here. I did use a template, um, but if you were wanting to do the three separate uh, areas, then it basically would appear like this, right? So um, going over what I did here, all of this, this um everything on here except for the mermaids in the background and i believe just these bubbles were uh provided within the canva software so it's about 12 dollars a month and you get pretty much all of um, these backgrounds so if you're looking for something uh like you know rose gold or uh, pink glitter background then you have it provided and it's already very very good quality uh, where you don't have to worry about uploading anything additional to um, create your work um, so that's one thing that i really really love about this software and you know like all these little this like seahorse and uh, the mermaid tail all these uh, shadows that i created here in canva were done basically with just the Canva software. You could design anything from logos, chip bags, uh, Capri Sun labels, etc. So I will probably do the Capri Sun label later because I have two different sizes now. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, walk you through some of the things that I did. So here is my Canva chip bag template that I'm using. And I just made a copy of it because I want to keep this one like I'm this. I'm going to go ahead and click on this one. I'm going to position that backwards just so my lines are showing. And then I'm going to add in my mermaid. And then I'm going to click here. Now, one of the good things about Canva is that it gives you these options right here that you don't have to go and pick the colors because they're already here. So if I wanted to do my photo colors from out of this background, they're already available for me. If you want to add any text on there, it also has the pink line going down similar to how Photoshop has a line going down so that you know you're in the middle of the page and I am going to change that color. If you want to get an outline effect around like the background, all I have to do is go to my elements and I'm going to add this square right here. I'm going to make it the size of my barcode.
All right, so I'm gonna show you guys how I print and then we'll go ahead and get this assembled. So first thing I do is go here to uh, download. You can save it as a PNG or a PDF. Um, when I send them to clients, I always send it as a PDF because sometimes PNGs will resize and once they get it, it's all, you know, it's not the right size and then they're calling you. So I always set it to PDF because it will be the, the right size, basically. So I'm going to go ahead and download. I do pretty much go over everything and see, make sure I like how it looks. I'll go here to file and go to print. One thing that I get a question on a lot is printing on glossy paper. This is a must, must, must have. Whenever I go to print, I always change my paper settings. For one, I want to print on US letter borderless. For two, I always check and see what my presets are. I want to change my uh, media and quality. I set that to main tray, photo paper glossy, and it always prints on in best quality when I do that. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and print and I'll show you what it looks like. Okay. So I did a test print. Um, this you can see those lines on my page. That's because I did print on glossy uh, photo setting. So you can see the difference between the quality. And I'll do a close up on it just so you guys can see the difference. Um, but even like looking at the pinks, this one that's printed on photo paper is darker. Um, you can get, you get, you just get a crisper quality when you're printing on a photo paper setting. Um, so that is definitely needed so that your, uh, ink won't smear. So now what I'm going to do is, um, just start assembling. And I do typically fold from the back just so I can see and make sure that I'm not getting any of my front image on there. Uh, yeah, so that looks pretty good. I'm going to add tape to the top and the bottom and here on the side where it says glue. So you can crimp on the edges if you want to. Uh, I'm not going to just because I did those lines there. So I'm, I'm not going to worry with it. But I do want to show you guys that you can bend this up. And it and it and the, the color does not fade. So I know with some glossy paper, you'll get sort of like a white discoloration when you, you know, when it touches other bags or whatever. But this one does not do this. You can see this is the one that I did not use the glossy setting, the photo paper setting, and this one I did use photo paper setting. So you can even tell how different that looks, just the um, color and quality. If you guys have any questions on how to do this in Canva or any other software, just let me know. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you as always for watching, and I'll see you on the next video.